Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like he said, was um, all Tuesday practice. Mm -hmm. um, Tuesday, we're full of pass, we're hitting. Um, the only thing different from a game-like situation is we're staying off the ground. Everything is, is everything else is live, you know, hitting, tackling, which is just studding up and staying high, not chopping, you know, and that. And, um, Friday, Saturday, um, my birthday was this weekend, so I went out. <laughs> I went out um, to eat and to the movies with my wife. Um, I mean, Chris really explained it. I mean, a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it was all like a Tuesday practice, full speed. I mean, we all had to be aggressive and just be determined to get through the day, make it the best day possible, and not just try to make the day. Um, but as far as me, like this weekend, uh, I went to my hometown, went to go see Tanner play this weekend. It was a, it was a blowout. And then, um, I went to uh, the UAB A and M game. My little brother played safety for UAB, so I went down there and checked it out. Did you run it? Greg Mack was probably a good basketball player too. <laughs> yes, I did. So you guys would rather have a game week than an open week, right? Yes. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> and you have another open week coming up? We do. We do in about what, four weeks mm -hmm. after. <laughs> a Tennessee State game, which that will catch us at a good time. It'll be kind of, you know, halfway through the OVC play. I think we got three OVC games in an open week, and we got four more after that. So it's, it's kind of hits us at a good time as well. You know, we get this is the first time these guys have kind of, you know, had a chance to catch a breath. You know, I mean, since uh, really July, you know, you get in that grind of fall camp and things you're doing, so they, they don't have any off time, so this gave them a little bit of, you know, a couple of days off time, and it kind of gets you refreshed and get away from it for, you know, a couple of days and, and uh, take care of some birthdays and things like that and, and get back in there and be focused. And I, I'm glad this is not a conference game. I'm glad we get a, you know, a chance to play our first home game. It's a non-conference game at home before we go into the OVC play. Coach, talk about that first home game. I know we talked about your first game with the head coach on the road, but what does it mean to be able to play your but, first home game? It's going to be special. I think. I think all the guys and, and staffs looking forward to come back home and play. You play. Uh, you know. You don't play at home in your fourth game of the year. You, you play two tough road games in an open week. And it was great to see the the support we had at Chattanooga. You know, all the red in the stands, and it was almost like a home game for us because we had so many fans at Chattanooga. So to get the, the guys. You know, back in and play in front of the home home crowd and have the Southerners over in the corner jamming it out and you know the, the stuff that goes on before the game and stuff. It's just going to be fun and special to play at home. And you know, like I said, we got a great game day environment, so uh, it's going to be fun to get back at home and let these guys enjoy a good home game. And I know our fans are excited about it. You know, and getting to uh, come to home game. And our student body, our student body does a fantastic job, and uh, I think that student section will be rocking on on Saturday. Coach, we tend to ask you a lot of questions about being a first-year head coach, but actually you were a head coach for a long, long time before you got here. What's the difference, or is there much of one between coaching at a large high school like you did and coaching at this level besides the fact that the stadium's bigger and the band's bigger? Yeah, it just everything's a little little more of, you know. I mean, I think that you uh, – we tried to run our, run our program like a, um, a a college, you know, for 20 years now. So I mean, it's not a lot of difference. A head coach are managing people, you know. Uh, so it's just managing people and and everything that you got to you know do and moving moving a large group of people to and from and and how you're playing. So uh, you know, the experience I've had as a head coach before has definitely helped me. Uh, I think it's just like I said, just a little more of you know, you play in front of. You know, twenty-five thousand instead of you know ten, fifteen thousand, or five thousand, no matter what, what high school you're at. So, uh, like I said, it's a little different going to like a Michigan State game where you're in front of eighty-five. You know, that's definitely different there, crowd-wise. But you know, playing on Saturday is a little different. You know, playing on Friday, you know, it's not a, it's, it's a little further road trip to Michigan State or Chattanooga than if you're at Spain Park and you're going to Best Avia, or if you're at Sweetwater and you're going to, you're going to Jackson. You know, so that's a little bit different. And playing on Saturdays is different, definitely, you know, different. But uh, like I said, it is a lot of firsts because it's my first year here. So uh, that'll be special, you know, in, in itself for sure. And it'll be special coming home and, and get playing in front of the home crowd for sure. Looking forward to it. So you're going to play to your defense in that Chattanooga game. Early on, obviously, there was some problems with the passing game. Is that something fixable with what you see? Very fixable. I mean, 
I don't keep saying weird plays, but a couple weird plays. Really, you know, not too badly thrown balls. Only the two interception returns. They were deep thrown balls. How many times do you see a, a deep interception return for a touchdown? So it's just a unique uh, set of circumstances. Like this, the second one was kind of booted in the air by a foot. I mean, how many times we'll always play in soccer or something? The you know, ball gets booted up in the air, and the guy picks it off. And, I had to look at the moon and see if it's full moon or not. You know, it was just kind of, kind of a, a weird deal, um, and we just kind of played through it. And it, the thing is, it's good to have that much confidence in your defense to where you don't feel like you got to score every time you got the ball, or you know, you feel like that's. Uh, and we're not going to shut it down by no means offensively. We know you got to score points, and we need to, we need to average in the 30s. But it's not going to be a deal. I don't feel like this year we've got to average in, in, in the 40s, you know, to, to be able to win games. You know, we want to be able to make sure that we, we're dynamic enough offensively and, and multiple enough offense to score points. You know, but when your defense is, you know, if we can give up, uh, you know, keep that average down defensively and, and be where you, you ain't got to score that many, that, that's a great thing, you know, for our football team. So, and I feel like uh, I think we're not where we want to be. You know, defense as well. I know we played well against Chattanooga, but we're not satisfied for sure. I know those guys feel like there's some things they can clean up there and even get better there, and, and offensively as well. Saturday, so that's, that's what we live for. 